morning everyone. The devastation after I've finished breakfast. Well, if I've paid 40 euros for a room, I'm gonna get my money's worth out of the breakfast, you know what I mean? So it is time to hit the road again, although I've still got to pack all my stuff up. I think the rest in the guest house has done me some good. Uh, I think yesterday was a little bit more challenging than I realized. There were a, a few hills because of the route I took. And yeah, I feel a bit better now for having breakfast and probably the three cups of coffee helped as well. Today's about 100 km a day again. Uh, heading towards a campsite if it's open. The internet is a bit vague. Um, it's not in English, it's in German, so I've done a Google Translate. But yeah, it appears to be a campsite in a place called Rottennacker, which sounds an awesome place, which I suppose is how my knackers feel after being so long on the bike. Nah, not really. And uh, that's it. I'll give you some clips from the road. Speak to you guys in a bit. Cheers for now. there it's just gone past one and I've just finished my little break which consisted of two rolls filled with Nutella so if I have Nutella around my face I apologize now it was very yum so I thought I'd show you a couple of things while I'm here obviously I'm sitting on a, a bench and I'm by the side of the Danube which is over here which is a very nice setting I think and then I thought I'd show you a couple of things on the bike so firstly there's my laundry system so as any cyclist will tell you uh, you need to wash your clothes on the road as you go along. So generally speaking, I wash my clothes in the shower and then if they've not dried overnight or in the afternoon, I then strap them to the back of the bike so they can air in the sun. These are still a little bit damp. Actually, the shorts are okay, but the top isn't right now. But I'm sure in, a, in another hour or so that'll be done. And yeah, so the bike is performing very well. I'm just carrying with me the two water bottles because there's, uh, you know, there's plenty of places to get water now. And then over here, as I promised you that we'd look at some more wildlife, can you see the duck thing there? Yeah, you might have to look carefully or expand the screen depending on how you look at this YouTube video. Oh, something went over to the right. Probably another duck, I think. So there's actually two there. Hopefully you can see them. Very peaceful it is they play amongst the pond lilies. And just there, again, maybe you can make it out, maybe not. That's a nest. And so, it is time for me to hit the road again. I am about 43 kilometers in, and I've got about another 50 to go until I reach Rottenmacker. God, I love that name. So, I will speak to you guys in a bit. Cheers for now.
Hi there, so at the end of another day cycling, and I've ended up in a campsite as you can see. And the campsite, I'm just going to consult my phone, is between Urbach and Rottenmacher. And it's by a lake, and I'll show you the lake now. There's been a few people swimming in there, but that's not for me. That's not my style, well, basically because it's probably a little bit cold. And there's a cyclist behind me. He's from Switzerland, he's on day one. He's starting from Switzerland and he's heading to Gothenburg. So that's it for today. Uh, 90 kilometers in the bag and tomorrow more of the same. Catch you later guys, cheers for now.